Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. If you've ever had to remember your password, you have probably developed some kind of system to help you remember the passwords you create. For some of you, you may just use the same password over and over again because it makes it easier to remember. Or you might put passwords on a sticky note and attach it to your monitor so that you can remember a more complex password that you've created. Now, of course, these are very insecure ways of handling password management, and that's where 1Password by Agile Software makes creating and managing your passwords easier and more secure. 1Password includes easy ways to create and manage your passwords for quick access on all of your Mac and iOS devices. The beauty of 1Password is you only have to remember your master password, and once you put that in, you have access to all of your other passwords and information. 1Password also can store all of your other important documents like credit cards, ID cards, or even a will or living trust, and it saves all of that in an encrypted database that can only be accessed by using your master password. So let's get started by taking a look at why you can trust 1Password in the first place. Now, when it comes to something as important as passwords and storing them, as well as any other important information you might have, one of the biggest questions that come up is, can I trust this application? If I'm going to put all this information in there, what are the risks to the information getting out or someone being able to hack this and have access to it? And so one password has you covered with that. So I just wanted to cover this so that you do have peace of mind with the application. If we just come over to the security tab on the website, I'm just going to scroll all the way down here because this is the foundation of how they handle security. The first thing you have here is a master password, and this is something that you create that you put in once every time you want to get access to your passwords or to that database. And if I just click on learn more here, you can see that they talk about how to choose a password. You want to make it memorable. You want to make it unique. You want to make it random, all of that kind of information. But it's got to be something that you remember. If it's not something you remember, then it will get lost or you'll forget it. And then you won't be able to get into the database that has all your passwords in it in the first place. So that's the first level of protection right there and the most foundational. Next, they also give you a secret key uh, to protect your data off your devices. If I just click on this, you get a secret key, and you can see it's something really long like this. And the nice thing about the secret key is it doesn't have to be memorable. And what happens is, is they give you an emergency kit with this on here. The secret key is yours so that everyone has a unique secret key. The other great thing is that the key is created on your device. It's not stored on their servers. So even if their servers get hacked, they would have to have a secret key to even encrypt the information that's on their servers. Uh, so it's not a license or a serial number. It's, it's not a backup code. It's actually an encryption key. The interesting thing about it, if we just scroll down here, here you can see that the encryption is 128 bits of entropy. So as you can see in this chart over here, it shows the various levels of security. You can see we got a weak password over here, all the way up to 128-bit encrypted with the master password and secret key. So what that means is it would be almost impossible for someone to hack into your information and get access to it. So that way you have this extra layer of protection with your uh, devices. So if they get stolen or it's off device, uh, for them to try to get access to this is going to be almost impossible. Finally, you have a secure remote password which protects all of your data in transit. And so what that does is it authenticates and sends tokens back and forth as opposed to your information over the air. So that way it encrypts all of the traffic to their server and back to make sure that it's secure. And if we come in here, you can learn a little bit more about how those credentials work and how they have it set up. But the great thing is with all of this is the fact that they've got you covered. They want to make sure that everything is secure. And this is really about as secure as you can get. So now that we've got information about how secure 1Password is, let's take a look at the various versions that are available. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.